Hello again, grade six, and welcome back to KS Online. This is our last part of our week three lesson. Remember, we are still on unit six, and the title is You've Won a Computer. Again, I welcome you to unit six, week three, part three. Today, we will talk about my research project. This is not merely for reading purposes, but this is a reading that gives an information. Again, we will talk about my research project. Here is an example of research project. Then we will know. Then we will understand the different parts of the research project. Teacher, what is a research project or a research report? We write a research report to show what we have discovered through research. Now, research has different parts. Take a look. This is the first part. Ready? For my research project, I wanted to find out how the internet works. Everyone around the world can access the World Wide Web, but how it is possible? This is the very first. What is this? This is an introduction. This explains what is the research report all about. In this particular research, this is the introduction. All right, so the writer or the author wanted to find out how the internet works. So that's the first part. Next, we can see here, a heading, internet cables. Where are the cables? Do the cables break? Why do the cables break? So these are the headings. So we can write the headings. Example here, computer, our computers around the world are connected to the World Wide Web by cables that go to every country and bring them the internet. Here's also, the cables need to reach all the countries, but there are huge oceans in between the countries. So the cables lie on the bottom of the ocean. We can also use questions as headings when we want to give the answers in a section in the report. Example, for a question heading, do the cables ever break? Where are the cables? So that we can give an information by answering the question in this report. Yes, the cables break pretty often, but the internet doesn't stop working. The scientist Brad Jennings explains why. There are lots of cables, so when, so when one cable breaks, it isn't a problem. It's only when they all break at the same time that the internet stops working. So we can give also quotes. Example here, the author quoted from scientist Brad Jennings. So this is a quote. There's an open and close parenthesis. Open quote and close quote. Quote and unquote. Okay. And then we go to the last. Why do the cables break? We can put facts or figures in the report, but we must check that they are true. So in this, he put facts. They can break because of earthquakes, fishing nets, or even shark bites. Normally, a cable breaks every year at the same point and needs to be repaired. Sounds fun, right? So, Let's review an introduction, heading, a question heading, code, and facts. 
All right, now let's go to our questions. So number one, uh, number three, let's read again. You can read again. You can post this video and then read it again, read again and answer the question. Where are the internet cables? Write down your answer. Number two, how often do the internet breaks? Go back to the reading, go back to the headings, go back to the my research project and then answer the following. Okay, for number one, here's the answer. Where are the internet cables? Internet cables lie on the bottom of the ocean. That's the answer. How often do the internet cable breaks? Internet cable break. Internet cables break pretty often. Okay, now let's match. Here are our examples. And here are our parts of a research project. Okay, is it a code? Is it a heading? Is it a fact? Or is it a question heading or question as a heading? Or is it an introduction? You can pause this video and write your answers. This time, I will give two points in every correct answer. So therefore, perfect score will be eight out of eight and lowest score will be four out of eight. All right. Number one, robots. It's a, is it a quote, a heading, a fact, a question as a heading, or an introduction? Robots, it's a heading, so it's letter B. Now you can answer only letter A, C, D, and E. No need to repeat letter B. Let's go to number two. Every cable has seven layers of plastic to protect it. And that's a letter C, a fact. Letter C. Let's go to number three. My research report is on how the internet cables are repaired. Is it A? Or the answer must be letter E. It's A. It's an introduction. All right. Two to go. Ken Smith says, uh, there's a quote and unquote. Robots are very important in repairing brakes. That's a quote. There's a. And lastly, how do robots repair brakes in the cable? It's a question as an heading. All right. And that's the end of our week three. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. And I hope you enjoy watching our video. So don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel. And see you again next week for our last week's lesson of our Unit 6. Again. Thank you for watching and see you again next week. God bless everyone and have a safe day. Bye-bye.